This conference will now be recorded. Okay, guys. So today we are going to do compliance setting and baseline. Suppose if you would like to find out how many computers are compliant and how many computers are non-compliant. Okay. Uh, suppose if a particular settings, if a particular setting is present in computer then the computer will be considered as compliant if the setting is not found then that will be considered as non-compliant got it so for example i'm gonna create one registry key here so i'm gonna go to uh, right click on start And run and type in reg edit and say yes now uh, suppose there is a virus attack for example and you have to have one registry key present in all the computers all Windows computers should have a registry key if the registry key is present computer will be considered as compliant if that is not present then computer will be considered as non-compliant so for example the registry key has to be present inside h key local machine and then a software and then registered application and the registry value let's say uh, d word value disable hacking if this is the registry key which has to be present in all computer and the value should be one so the computer will be considered as compliant otherwise computers are vulnerable and hackers might hack the computer now there are one 10,000 computers will you be able to check it manually in 10,000 computers no is it is it possible it's not possible right you will have to log into each computer and go to registry and find out so instead of doing that we can create compliance setting right and if this which this setting will be uh, you know if this setting is present in the computer it will be considered as compliant if not then non-compliant so let's go to SCCM console Now we have to go to this uh, asset uh, intelligence. Sorry, uh, compliance, compliance setting and configuration item. And right click on this configuration item and create configuration item. Now let's say uh, point number one. And that is disable hacking registry and go next it has to be done on windows computers so we are checking windows computers so let's go next and the setting where the setting will be present what setting you would like to define so you go new and you type in let's say disable registry setting anything of your choice and click on value now in every computer i want the sccm client to go to hk local machine in registry and then go to software and then registered application and then check for this disable hacking if this disable hacking is present then it should also check whether the value is equal to one or not okay the value should be one so i'm going to click on okay so that's the uh definition that means if this setting is present computer will be considered as compliant if not then computer will be marked as non-compliant so i'm going to click on okay let's go next 
next and next and close it any question go guys so far good breath james it's okay so setting is defined now you have to deploy this setting through a baseline to all computers so let's create a baseline so baseline is what my computer should have should meet this baseline no matter how many computers you have 10000 or 20000 no matter whether it is windows xp windows 7 windows vista windows server every computer should meet this baseline so right click configuration item create configuration baseline let's say point number 1 and <clears throat> uh, registry baseline and you click on add and choose the configuration item which we just created this is the one which we just created disable hacking registry add and click on ok and ok so this is the baseline which we have created but it is not yet deployed to any computer so let's find out whether this baseline is meeting whether this baseline uh, um, whether the computers are meeting this baseline or not let's say you have 10,000 20,000 systems and I would like to find out on how many systems this baseline is met so come right click and choose deploy the collection so you can deploy it on one computer 10 computers 20 computers 20,000 computers anything of your choice you choose device collection I'm gonna evaluate on all system let's say I have 20,000 systems I would like to check on all those 20,000 systems all all systems and click OK and how often I would like to evaluate every seven minutes I want to get the latest status from the computers whether it is compliant or not non-compliant so click OK that's it so it is going to evaluate this baseline if the computers are meeting this baseline then the compliance count will be increased here if the computers are non not meeting the baseline then non-compliant count non-compliance count will be increased so if like, like let's say 19,000 computers are compliant so the count will be 19,000 here if 1000 computers are non-compliant then it will have 1000 and in order to see those computers you will have to go to the monitoring and check okay and inside monitoring um, you go to reporting and then reports and compliance and setting management and you need to run this configuration summary con compliance by configuration baseline if you run this you will get the list of computers which are non-compliant got it clear guys any question good breath james all good yeah it's good so what I have done, I have created a configuration item and then baseline and deployed that baseline to the devices. Yeah. Can we can we click on the complete configuration item one more time? I understand the baseline, but I just trying to understand what is the criteria or what are the compliance? It checks automatically. Does it check if the windows don't have uh, appropriate uh, you know updates and no 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 no. What I have defined is based on the registry. It is only going to check the registry. This is the one which I defined. So if you edit, mm -hmm. so if the value is equal to one, what value? Okay. The value of the registry key. Mm -hmm. Registry key is what? It is the registry key what we have defined. The let me just show that one. to you. The second one. Is yes, a uh, setting. Let me go to setting and show that to you. Yeah, this is the one. So if the value of this 
disable hacking in every computer in HK local machine software registered application the value is one for this registry key then the computer will be considered as compliant okay Got so it? my question is uh, yeah no that's fine i understand the contact context but what i'm trying to understand is this uh, disable hacking key mm -hmm. is this something mm -hmm. which is the best practices which we can configure on a machine to avoid hacking or is it only no, 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 no. i'm just i'm just giving you an example right so what would be a actual production scenario where uh, you see like there. You see this uh, in the year 2018 there was a, a, a cyber attack meltdown right. inspector mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not sure whether you guys have heard about it meltdown inspector which hacked millions of computers in Ukraine Russia US India right so yeah, in that right. there yeah, there was a registry key Which has to be present on every Windows system? Okay. Yeah, I remember the yeah. remote. Yeah remote code execution and the registry key was there and uh, That value should value of that uh, Registry was I don't exactly remember so How will you check? Whether that registry key is present in the computer or not you will have to log in manually to each system so in order to in order to get the status you don't have to manually log in SCCM will be the one which will help to get those status. Understood. Okay. I got it. I got it. Okay. Now let me just go to any computer and show you how it comes. Let's say Windows 10. On Windows 10, Windows 10, this configuration it comes here in configuration. Okay. So if uh, if you wait for five minutes, it will come. Otherwise, you just bring the policy like run run this machine policy And go to configuration and refresh you will get the setting here You see registry this one will come in every computer and it will evaluate automatically every seven minutes That's what we have defined But if you cannot wait for seven minutes, you can click on evaluate and it's fine. It's saying what this computer is non-compliant because that baseline is not meeting here Got it Okay Why it is not meeting because that registry key is not present here in this computer. That's the reason this co computer is non-compliant Understood mm -hmm. Similarly Let's say the second example I'm gonna take uh, show you for software updates Let's say there is an update which is like Critical which has to be there in all Windows system If that is there then the computer will be considered as compliant if not then non-compliant So let me take one example Let's say this one. Uh, this is very uh, no. Let's say the second one. This uh, KB article is uh, crucial, right? And uh, we need to have this present on every system. What will you do? You copy this KB article number three zero zero four eight three. Copy that and go to asset and compliance and you go to baseline so right click on the baseline and choose create configuration baseline and let's say kb anything of your choice just type in kb and add and this time you choose software updates and search the kb number on the top it's fine now and choose this and click OK and OK. 
so if this kb is present in the computer computer will be considered as compliant if not then non compliant so right click and deploy that so suppose i would like to find out this find the status on all computer so browse and choose device collection all system and instead of doing every seven days i'm gonna do it every seven minutes and click ok now what will happen it's gonna scan all the computers and give you the compliance status for example let's go to domain on domain server i need to have a the configuration agent let's go to control panel create shortcut <clears throat> now the policy will reach here in five minutes but i cannot wait for five minutes so i'm gonna click on action and bring the new policy so i'm gonna click on machine policy and run now so that policy will reach here the new configuration and you go to configuration and you see the kb number so if it is compliant or non-compliant you just click on evaluate it will find out and make the computer as compliant or non-compliant you see it is non-compliant why it is non-compliant because it is not installed here if you click on view report that's gonna show you it is not present here so just go down and what does it say security update this and uh, that is critical why it is critical it is the current value is not detected got it yeah. so you just have to define one setting and deploy that setting to find out how many computers are compliant and non-compliant clear uh, gurpreet yes boss any question it's okay so you can define the policy based on file if certain file is present on the computer then the computer will be considered as compliant if registry key is present then the computer will be considered as compliant if uh, the old software is there right the vulnerable software then the computer will be considered as non-compliant so you can create based on baseline based on your requirement and sscm client will find out the status of the computer and give you the status okay let's do one more for uh, file system suppose if uh, a product a file present in every computer that has to be present if the file is present then the computer is considered as compliant if not then non-compliant so let's say program files so for example 7z.fm and if this file is present the file version should be something like 19.00 so i am making a compliance baseline that every computer should have this file present and that the value should be 19.00 so i'm going to click on configuration item right click on that and choose create configuration item because i cannot log into each and every computer and find out the file so that's the reason i am giving this task to sccm so i'm going to say uh let's say 7 zip file whether it is present in the computers or not so let's go next next and here we define the setting so go new and uh, you can type in anything of your choice here 7 zip 
and instead of registry value i'm going to take file system and location where the file is located the file will be located in every computer c drive program files and inside program file 7 zip and inside 7 zip 7z.fm and if this file is present it has to be compliant with the following rule so add let's say the file version should be is equal to or is greater than and equal to so anything which is equal to or greater than 19.0 i will consider them as compliant so i'll say okay and then okay and apply and okay what will happen in every computer it is going to check in program files 7 zip folder whether that file is present or not if file is present and the version is 19.00 then those computers will be considered as compliant so let's go next next and close it so we have created one file 7 zip uh, configuration item now we just have to create a baseline and deploy it through the baseline so create a configuration baseline let's say 7 zip base line so this file has to be present so you click on add configuration item and that's the point number two seven zip and click ok and ok so we created a baseline and we have to deploy this baseline to the computers so right click and deploy suppose i would like to find out on all system whether this file is present or not so i'm going to choose that user instead of user collection device collection and all system and every seven minutes and okay and close it now this is going to give you the status from all the computers it will check whether that file is present or not and give you the status so for example if you go to windows 10 and bring the new policy because we just deployed the policy <clears throat> machine policy run uh, run now and then configuration and refresh <clears throat> okay 7-zip okay whether this 7-zip file is present on this box or not you evaluate and it is gonna check and find out it is compliant why it is compliant because 7-zip is already installed and the version is 19.0 that's the reason this computer is considered as compliant understood Yeah. Gurpreet and James, yes, are you guys following or not? Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a good feature. It's a nice feature. Yeah. You can also make this forcefully compliant. Suppose if something is not there, you can remediate forcefully. For example, if registry key is not there, you can forcefully remediate. If file is not present, it will forcefully remediate the file. If certificate is not there, it will forcefully bring the certificate right so instead of just giving you the compliance status it will make the computer as compliant in case if it is uh, failing to be compliant so in that case uh, we need to specify the package name or package detail so that you can upload if the uh, you have to give the script you have to give the script so for example you have powershell script okay one for the discovery another for so you create the configuration item i'm gonna just say test here and go next next and go new now in here you have to instead of using these option you choose a script and add the script first it will verify whether the computer is compliant or not discovery script if the computer is compliant then it will it is not gonna do anything but in case if it is non-compliant it will forcefully remediate 
so you have to give the powershell script and that will run forcefully make that computer as compliant got it okay. so there are multiple options to add this script you can add powershell script you can add j script vb script and that whatever the script you mention here that is going to be executed on that system which are non compliant okay yeah. any question all good yep. okay guys so the assignment is uh, to do the same thing what i have done today in the session okay. so same to same just to get yourself familiar with this okay? okay okay any question before we wrap it up guys okay guys thank you bye 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 everyone